hello guys welcome to my youtube channel what i want to show you is how you can make animated gif images which you can use for your blackberry messenger profile picture or your twitter profile pictures for facebook i've tried it and it's not worked yet i don't know it has to do with facebook and their policies so um here we are i've got lots of pictures here on my desktop and these are just some of my pictures well, first of all, what you need to do is to download um, a software which is um, Photoscape. You just go into Google and type Photoscape. Yeah, and this is it, Photoscape.org. You go there and this is the website and you go to free download. Now these are two download links. You can either download this or this. They're both the same thing. It doesn't really matter. You can see the file sizes are both 20.3 MB each. So you go here. If you go to brothersoft.com, it starts downloading immediately. So if you go to Softonic, you'll have to click on the free download link. Well, I have it already. So let's just go here. And now this is how it looks like. Now this is it when you open it up and what you have to do is go to animated gif to create you know animated gifs for what we want to do today but you have loads of other format and you know templates for whichever you know animation or profile or picture editing you want to do so let's just go here now these are my pictures you can see them on my desktop these are the pictures I have now what you need to know is that before you'll be able to create really cool animated gifs your pictures must be you know kind of similar like you're standing in the same position but then maybe your hands or you know parts of your eyes you might blink and in another picture or another posture you might open your eyes so when we combine and we you know synchronize both together it looks you know like an animation and it gives you the real cool effect which you want to see now let me show you some of the pictures I've got here you can see these two they look quite similar I drag them up here now this is what we have you can see that it's moving this is me with the snowman all right now the two pictures are quite similar because I'm standing in the same place and you can see the camera has not really changed so much because you know the angle and the perspectives are almost the same except my motion which is changing and you can see it looks like I'm doing that and actually I'm not so this is what animated GIF does for you so you can actually change the time of the frames and then you can change the you know the timing and the canvas size normally to create an animated GIF for your Blackberry messenger profile picture the canvas size has to be the same I mean both in um, height and in weight it has to be 213 by 213 or 200 by 200 what I mean is whatever number you put here has to be the same as what goes down here so it has to be square basically now your file size also for a Blackberry messenger profile picture should not exceed 32 kilobytes because once it exceeded two kilobytes, it will not be able to work as your BlackBerry profile picture, your BlackBerry Messenger profile picture. But it's still gonna be created, but it's just not gonna work for BBM. All right, now so what you wanna do is just to try it. You can try and save. It saves as any GIF on your desktop or wherever you choose to save it. You can see it's forty-one point two. And now this is a problem because it's not going to work. So what you want to do is to reduce the canvas size. You come here to set canvas size. And let's just try 190 to 190. I don't want to reduce it so much because when you view it, it's going to be really small. Now that's done. Let's see if it works now. I'm still going to save with the same file name. So, you know, it um, replaces what we have there. And now this is 37.8. Still need to go down a little more. Let's try 170 by 170. And now you try and save again. Yeah, perfect. This is really going to work because this is 31.3 kilobytes. Now you can come here and see your file. This is your file. So what you want to do is copy this and then go to your BlackBerry. 
this is your blackberry phone you open up your drive and then you save the picture on you know maybe your camera or wherever you save your pictures to on your blackberry i'm gonna try and do that now so when you connect your blackberry to your phone you want to select the usb drive mode so it comes up on your computer as one of the drives so you open it up and normally you can see blackberry you can see home if you have a, a memory card it might have you know some other drives but whichever drive you want to choose you're still going to find your picture so you go to home you go to user and you can save on your camera or on your pictures you're still going to save so most of the time because my camera has um less amount of images and pictures i save on my camera so you might want to do the same so you go to your camera and then you copy and you paste the picture here now you can see this is Annie gif i'm gonna copy and paste it here now that is done so if you go to your blackberry now and you open it up and you want to change your dp you can just you know select the Annie gif file once you open your camera you're just gonna try and scroll down or up and look for the picture and it's gonna be cool all right that is picture one i want to see let's try something else i'm gonna take that off now i'm gonna put this one and this one you can see they also kind of look similar and what it looks like i'm doing now is just like i'm wiggling my head and i'm bending my head to the right which i'm actually not doing it's just you know different postures of the pictures now you might want to set that as well on your desktop and see if it works yeah this is way bit a bit too much it's 33.8 so we have to reduce that to one let me see let's try 165 by 165 now you save 32.3 is still too much it's not gonna work so that means we're gonna reduce it more let me just put it on 160 just to be safer and you know so that I just don't keep repeating that and now I can save yeah that's it 30.7 is just fine so you might also want to change the time I mean to you know let's reduce it down to you know 0 0.50 seconds that is like half of a second so it's gonna look really really fast as you can see so you know the lower the timing the faster it becomes it's almost a microsecond now you can see the picture is just wiggling <laughs> so I don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna increase it more I'm just showing you how it's gonna look like depending on the timing on what I mean the kind of feel you want if you want to make it look like you're dancing you're doing you know a kind of emotion really fast this is you know somewhat cool so let me just stop that now I'll take this off again and let's try something else more fun okay now this is two other cool pictures most of my pictures are just you know kind of mostly coincidentally they happen to come looking almost the same way now you can see it's not moving because I've stopped it here so when I press play you can see my hands moving but these pictures are turning the wrong way so what you want to do is to rotate you can rotate clockwise or rotate counterclockwise so I want to rotate clockwise so I'll be facing down so do the same to the other image and if you press play it looks can you see what I'm doing it looks like I'm flapping my hands I want to change the time a little bit to maybe about 30 seconds 0.30 seconds okay can you see that like I'm trying to do something so you can also save that open let's try and save this up and see different files with different file sizes because it depends on the quality of the camera because if the image size is big then your output um, GIF file is likely to be big as well you can see this one I think it was used um, I think the camera that was used was from a mobile phone and the quality was a little bit you know low and the file size is also low so that is why we have 21.1 kilobytes still on 160 by 160 now this means you can try and increase because we want to make optimum use of the uh you know the quota or the file size which is the maximum that has been given by blackberry messenger 
now let's try and increase this to 180 or 200 let's try 200 oh, I hope this doesn't pass oh yeah 29.6 by 29.6 kilobyte okay now you can see the picture is really really big now because I think it's got less actions and it's not really doing much okay now I want to try this one this now looks like you know a really really big movie because I've got loads of files here and this is a picture that's got like one two three four five images okay now we want to rotate them all at the same time you can see because I selected all and I rotated all at the same time they're all back to normal and this picture looks like I'm you know trying to get into the car they're all playing at the same time and it looks like I'm walking into the car I think the pictures are actually incomplete there's another part where I was actually sitting in the car and you know the whole thing is like a sequence which shows like I walk to the car and I'm actually sitting down but these for this to work for Blackberry Messenger profile picture you really need to shrink the picture I mean reduce the canvas size to the lowest minimum and keep saving over and over again till you meet the the maximum file size which is 32 kilobytes but you don't want to get a 32 kilobytes sometimes and you put it on your phone and you make sure it doesn't work so as soon as you get to maybe 31.9 or 31.8 you're just fine and that will be cool so thank you guys for watching and hope you stay tuned for more episode cheers bye